A Knoxville widow no longer has to worry whether the contractor she hired will put a new roof on her home. She hired that roofer six months ago, but he came up with constant excuses and he just failed to do the job. Six on your side consumer reporter Don Dare has some good news tonight, though. There is a new roof over her head. So, Don, how did this all come about? Well, Bo, a contractor who watched our story two weeks ago has stepped up to make things right. The company owner said he wanted to remind homeowners there are reputable roofing businesses in East Tennessee. A crew from Barnett Roofing worked from dawn until dusk on Monday of this week, putting a roof on the home of a Knoxville widow who had been scammed. I love it. It's absolutely wonderful. I can't believe it. It's just, it's just made my day. They just totally have made my day. So today we're doing a free roof uh, for the customer. We found out that she was uh, taken advantage of. Lois hired Lucky Star Roofing in the spring of this year. But she said the company owner always came up with excuses and never showed up to do the roof. The contract for $9,500 was signed by Roger Blankenship, the business owner. Lois paid two-thirds of the cost in advance last May. And he said he would start the following week. He never did. He never came back that week. And it wasn't until I heard from him again on Memorial Day when he said he needed an additional $500 cash to cover the dumpster. But the dumpster never arrived and the job never started. One day after we reported her story, Barnett Roofing called Six on Your Side. We heard about that on the news through your program. We called all our manufacturers, reps, and uh, they're all kicking in. Different uh, suppliers in town are kicking in supplies. We're kicking in the uh, leadership. We're kicking in uh, the labor. So everybody will get paid like usual. The 10-member crew worked tirelessly throughout the day, each knowing their job as they worked in unison. They've been with us just over a year now. Um, they're quick, they're thorough, everyone knows their job, they're, they're a pleasure to work with. My goal has always been to uh, clean up the town, uh, give a good name to roofers. Uh, Ron, my, my, my main project manager and myself, we've been in this business for 35 years and all we've seen is bad guys. So we try to be the good guys. We tore it right down to the roof deck. We replaced a total of 11 sheets of uh, decking and uh, we put an ice and water barrier on the eaves. Project manager Ron Schwenke and owner David Barnett met with Lois as they explained the roof's guarantee. They assured her the job would be done right and she won't have to worry anymore. Absolutely wonderful. I mean, they just from the bottom of my heart, I can't thank them enough for this. This is just wonderful. It's the best Christmas present I've ever had, I think. <laughs> for Lois, her new roof looks spectacular, just like it did when she moved in more than 40 years ago. You won't have to worry about this roof ever again. No, I won't. Not in my lifetime. <laughs> Good to see that she's happy. David Barnett told us his company has what is called a widow and children's fund that provides about a quarter of a million dollars a year of free roofing for people in need. Now, regarding the first contractor Lois hired but failed to do the work, she has filed a theft charge against Roger Blankenship, but she says the Sheriff's Department in Campbell County has not served the summons yet because they can't find Blankenship. Tonight, though, Lois is happy with all those who have helped put a new roof on her house. Bo. Good stuff there, Don. Thank you. If you have a consumer question for Don, take a moment, send him an email at ddare at wat.com. Or you can always give them a call at 865-633-6923.